Hello, and welcome to the special presentation of Astro Psych 400. My name is Ned Dahan, and I will be your host. I'm also the creator of Black Box All Night Radio, a channel that mostly talks about true crime, serial killers, and especially the Zodiac Killer. So, of course, I invite you to like and subscribe to both of these channels if you want to follow along with all of these discussions. Recently, I started watching several videos from the YouTube channel Playing With Fire, mostly because the host, Alex, puts on debates that talk about social issues, and I thought that it was a breath of fresh air, really. It's nice to hear something in the spirit of debate that isn't related to politics or religion, but they're just talking about relationships and dating and masculinity. It's really interesting to hear what people have to think, especially the black pill debates, when they're talking about some guys think that looks and status are the only things that matter, and I did a response to the black pill movement, but recently I saw this announcement on the Playing With Fire YouTube channel, and it says that a new product is available for pre-sale. The exact words are, the new product pre-sale is live. Pre-order the Ultimate Dating Blueprint 2.0. And um, that's actually the uh, title of what appears to be a book. Um, I know that um, this is most likely a course, but it, there's a book that is featured in the icon, or the image, rather. And it says, Playing with Fire Ultimate Dating Blueprint. It's on sale for $250, and the price increases on July 1st. Um, Playing with Fire is a YouTube channel run by a guy named Alex who lives in Miami. And when he's hosting these debates, I think he is very fair. He has superhuman patience when he's talking to people. I mean, if I were debating some of these people, I would just tell them to get lost because they're talking in circles. But um, this is one thing, though, that I thought was so surprising. Charging $250 for a dating blueprint. And previously, um, Alex from Playing the Fire was selling a dating course for $169. And I know that there are some people out there who are willing to pay money like this. John Anthony, who runs uh, another uh, pickup artist dating coach uh, YouTube channel, if I recall, he charges $1,000 an hour for his, um, for his consultations or his uh, training and services. It's so much money, though. And I don't want to deter anyone from doing this. You can make your own choice. If you want to pay money for this, I think it's completely up to you. However, I also find it amazingly shocking that someone would want to do that um, just to fork over $250, because you don't have to. I mean, there are so many other resources that are available online, and here's why. I will never be rich, because I'll just tell you everything for free. You don't have to pay a dime, and I don't want this to come across as like I'm just giving you advice or some type of perfect method. I'll just tell you some observations about these dating coaches and the world, and you can make your own decision. All right, you want the you want some type of ultimate dating blueprint? It's all about numbers. Just get on certain websites and that are geared toward dating and social interaction. And in the United States of America, you need 1000 interactions before you can find a partner. You think I'm joking? You think I'm joking? Try it. Go for it. And I'm um, believe it or not though, um some of these dating coach um things that they do aren't so bad. Get a professional photographer to take your photos, and also choose the ones that are the most attractive. How do you know which ones are the most attractive? Ask other people. Pre-screen them. Talk to other people. Find out which ones they like the best. Because I knew someone once who did a photo shoot back in college, a woman actually, and she um, looked great. The clothing she was wearing, they looked great, you know, very attractive outfits. But all of the poses she was doing were just not accentuating her attractive features. And it was an amateur photo shoot that was done by, I think, one of her friends. But it's been so long, I forget. But you can, just because you get a professionally done photo shoot, it doesn't mean that every pose or image is going to be extremely attractive. You can pre-screen them, and then you can put them out on a dating site, and I really found, though, that a lot of people to this day still find success 
outside of the virtual world, outside of cyberspace. I've known so many people who met their partners face to face because they started talking to them, particularly in situations that were not work related and not school related, not classmates and not co-workers, things at mutual community events. And um, they found their partners by striking up a conversation with someone who's at some type of function or some type of um, area where they're not immediately connected to their social circle because that will affect their perception. People care so much about reputation. If you're talking to someone and they don't know your friends and you don't know their friends, there's a much higher chance that they're going to feel at ease because there's no way that anyone is going to judge them because they don't know about the interaction. And I've also felt that people are much more open to talking about things, even just if it's striking up a conversation, if it's at something that is not work-related or not school-related. Now, somebody told me this one once, and it relates to going to bars. I don't really do that. I don't drink alcohol. But they said that if you go to the same bar regularly you also find other people who go to the same bar regularly and that i mean makes sense logically but i think that something that a lot of people are probably thinking about already is it's not going to work for me i just i never succeed when i go to try talk to, to people face to face or i put up photos on a dating site all the time and that never works out i use uh, three dating sites and nothing happens well for starters why are you using three dating sites why aren't you using five different dating applications as i said it's all about numbers use five different dating applications you got tinder hinge Bumble, maybe you can use something else like uh, Badu or even OkCupid if it's still around. Or how about get a uh, friendship-oriented one like Interpals? There's also a terrible one out there called Meet Me. But if it's just about numbers, do it anyway. Be on five different platforms and interact with people. Um, and here's the biggest thing, though. There is something that is important to differentiate. Self-reliance and mental toughness. I was talking about this on my Instagram journal, BlackboxNet88 on Instagram, and I, w I watched the show Naked and Afraid, and they do this one challenge where it's um, the alone challenge, and you have to survive for 21 days in the wild, but alone, there are no partners, and they differentiate between self-reliance and mental toughness. Just because somebody is good at spending time by themselves, like the people who use online dating, it does not mean they have mental toughness. And they said this exactly clear as day on the same program. One of the participants said, some people have skills, some people have abilities, but they don't have the mental toughness. I mean, it, put yourself out there even if you don't want to do it anyway. And um, it's really about developing the type of personality that is going to attract people. And the only way that I think that you can overcome the certain types of unattractive features and vibes that you're putting out is by interacting with a thousand people. So you actually develop that type of mental toughness where it won't bother you if somebody is being mean to you or awkward around you or they're offended by some type of comment that you made. Firstly, it won't bother you. And secondarily, your personality will begin to change to the point where you're actually aware of your desire and you're able to convey that desire. Dr. Robert Glover once said that a big problem with nice guys is they have a lid on their sexual energy. And I don't like that particular metaphor because um, Dr. Robert Glover has also said something better when he said they're putting their sexual energy in the wrong place. And it might be an obsession with pornography or OnlyFans like the webcam girls. Well, instead of that, though, um, talk to a thousand people and see what happens for you. And um, I also think that there's something that is almost impossible to describe, but I'll try anyway. Lead with your hormones. Don't think, don't even pay attention to what you're saying. It's just lead with your hormones. Try to get overwhelmed by your own masculine energy. Or if you're a woman, I mean, just uh, try to uh, be as outgoing as possible as well. This is true, though. Like, um, Psychology Today once wrote an article saying that women who are high in trade openness and trade agreeableness are more likely to um, 
experience sexual activity if there's a woman who's looking for a particular partner. But I don't think that these dating coaches are going to say anything to the contrary, if I can be very frank. I think that they are going to um, probably share some things about approach and how you talk to people. There was a good video on John Anthony's YouTube channel, John Anthony Lifestyle, when he talked about tone of voice. Sure. And then the, the mystery method, one of the most classic ones, is um, there's a video on line where you can watch for free as well, when he talks about approaching somebody shoulder to shoulder, like side by side versus head on, because it's less threatening, no matter what these guys are saying, you don't have to pay a thousand dollars or two hundred dollars or a hundred and sixty nine dollars. It's just about putting yourself out there, practicing over and over again to the point where your personality has been altered in a way that is more attractive. And all of these black pillars out there who say that the only things that matter are looks and status. Well, three years ago, they were saying only looks matter. Then they realized that that wasn't true. Now they're saying it's only looks and status. If you don't have a certain um, level of attractiveness, there's no point in trying to uh, put any photos on a, on a dating site. Well, I mean, that is absolutely defeatist. And then you can point out all the people who um, aren't conventionally attractive, but they succeed in the dating world. And then they say, well, there are exceptions that prove the rule. Well, guess what? You're supposed to be the exception that proves the rule. Who was it? Was it Tony Montana? Was that Scarface who said, you make your own luck? And it's just that. You create your own destiny. So, I mean, I think that it's just clear as day. And I'm not really trying to um, advise anyone, because someone like just once told me that I'm in no position to give anybody advice on this subject. The only thing that I'm doing in this episode is offering an alternative. Before you fork over the $250, know that you can do it on your own. Absolutely. And, um... I mean, what do you think? What do you think? Because um, somebody did say this in one of the uh, first ever uh, playing uh, with fire debates that I watched, that a lot of it really is just that people are going to uh, buy this product and they are going to do this dating course and that's just going to give them more confidence and then they're going to be um, able to attract more partners because they're confident. And I'm very 50-50 on that. I totally see where the guy's coming from. But I um I remember that there was this book out there called The Platinum Guide to Dating. It was a blog on my Google blog spot, but each blog post was a different chapter. So it's like an electronic book and you had to read the uh, blog post to get all the info. But it simply stated that confidence isn't everything. Their rule was it's one third confidence, one third smoothness and one third building a rapport with the person whom you're engaging with. And I'm so glad that they said that because you can find the most confident person in the world, but they can also be obnoxious. I mean, they're very extroverted. They do things that fuel their own excitement. They don't care what people think, but their obnoxious behavior is turning people off. Now, why would that be? It's because they aren't paying attention to what you're they're doing. So if you try to approach a thousand people, pay attention to how people respond to you, and also recognize that you have your own ambition and care about yourself and care about other people. You don't have to choose one. You can do both and see if it affects your personality in a particular way. And I, I kid thee not about this thing about going with your hormones. And I mean, don't let rejection get you down. But definitely look at the reasons why you were rejected in the first place. And don't ever think that looks are all that matters. They are not. And I think that that's just the long and short of it. So in conclusion, put yourself out there, try things, and believe that it's going to work. That's a big one. And never get discouraged, but go through a thousand people, pay attention, and look at things in retrospect. If you're going to be using your hormones, we'll read back over the old messages and see what worked and what didn't. Why was this person attracted? And focus on stimulation would be the final thing that I would say to you. I mean, just see if there isn't some type of energy that is created by talking to someone that you are attracted to. 
and see what you can do with that energy. Try to advance the conversation. Always take things one step further. Make it more and more sexual, for lack of a better term, for simplicity's sake, let's just say that. And I don't really want to present myself as a dating coach. This is the first time I've ever done a, an episode on this subject. But I just don't really like the idea that someone is charging $250 for a dating guide when you can do it all on your own for free. Okay, share anything you want in the comments section down below. That's all for me now. And I'll see you guys on Black Box Online Radio. Until next time.